Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today we're discussing how Vernon Dursley met Petunia Evans, and how the two of them eventually became Mr. and Mrs. Dursley, the widely disliked aunt and uncle of Harry Potter. As revealed by the memories of a dying Severus Snape, there was once a time when Petunia Evans and her younger sister, Lily, were actually quite close. In fact, it would seem that as a young girl, Petunia had wished to become a witch just like Lily, and even went so far as to write to Headmaster Dumbledore to see if he could make an exception and allow her to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, despite the fact that she displayed no magical abilities. Unfortunately, it would seem that Dumbledore's refusal, although delivered kindly, ignited feelings of incredible resentment within Petunia, which is likely what spurned her on towards a life in which she hated magic to the point that she tried to pretend it didn't exist. Petunia was also openly resentful of the fact that her parents seemed delighted by the fact that her sister was a witch, which ultimately led to Petunia feeling such incredible dislike towards her sister, her family, and her home in Cokeworth, that she up and left in search of a much more ordinary life. It was around this time that Petunia met Vernon Dursley. The two worked together at the same office in London, where Vernon was a junior executive. Evidently, he was a rather boring, rude, and opinionated man, which Petunia inexplicably found to be quite desirable. Although the reasoning behind her interest in Vernon is somewhat of a mystery, I suppose you could say that she found his demeanor to be quite the opposite of her own family, to whom she still remained incredibly unhappy with. After a series of what have been described as rather dull dates, Vernon proposed to Petunia in the sitting room of his mother's house. She, of course, said yes, all of this took place during Lily's final year at Hogwarts, which would have made Petunia and Vernon in their early twenties at the time. Fearful of what Vernon would think of her magical sister, Petunia put off introducing the two until she finally broke down in tears and confessed to him that her sister, Lily, was a witch, to which he responded that he would never hold it against her that she had a freak for a sister. So, as you can imagine, Vernon and Petunia's prejudice against people who were different was so entrenched that the first meeting between Vernon, Petunia, Lily, and James went rather poorly indeed. And sadly, the foursome's relationship never recovered. Petunia did not ask Lily to be part of her wedding party, and Vernon wouldn't talk to James during the reception. Once married, the Dursleys then refused to attend Lily and James's wedding, which took place not too long after. It's believed that the Dursleys and the Potters never spoke to one another again, and that the last time they corresponded was when Lily sent Petunia an announcement of Harry's birth. While it seems rather clear that Petunia's prejudice and hatred of magic stems from her jealousy and resentment of her sister, the origins of Vernon's views are a little more difficult to pinpoint. That said, I think it suffices to say that he may have just been an ignorant git. And with that, we've come to the end of today's video. What did you think? Do you agree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.